Why is it essential to conduct a geological survey on a site? For example, we're currently at a new project where the excavation pit is slowly being filled with some kind of soil. You could come to a site, see a flat surface, and have no idea what's underneath. In this case, for instance, about one and a half meters of soil, branches, and construction debris have been dumped here. And this material can't serve as a reliable foundation for your home. The house will inevitably settle. The goal of a geological survey is to determine where and at what depth a solid, load-bearing soil layer is located, one that can support a foundation. It doesn't matter if you're using board piles, driven concrete piles, or a pile cap. Any type of foundation must rest on something solid. That's exactly what geology helps us figure out. Before drilling starts, Anchors are screwed into the ground using a simple tool. These anchors are then used to secure the testing machine, which presses a metal cone into the ground. After anchoring, the machine is fastened to the ground using two steel channels so it can resist the pressure of the cone being pushed in. Then, a metal rod with a cone at the end is installed and pushed into the soil. A pressure gauge shows the force needed for penetration. By converting this force to surface area, we can calculate the soil's bearing capacity. The first rod is pressed in, then additional segments are added and attached. Depending on the complexity of the project and the size of the site, the number of test points is selected. In this case, we're conducting tests at three points. If there is a locally loaded structure, for example, a massive machine or a heavily loaded pile, we conduct an additional survey in that specific location to find out exactly where the bearing layer lies. We've pushed the rod down to a depth of 6.8 meters, and the reading shows 200 kilograms per square centimeter. But that needs to be recalculated because the pressure is measured on a cone with a four centimeter diameter. An interesting situation happened during this test. At around three meters deep, the equipment seemed to hit something solid, but then it dropped down again after just a few centimeters. That means it encountered a dense but very thin soil layer that's not suitable for building on. That's why it's crucial to work with qualified geologists. They know when such a layer must be pierced to find the real load-bearing soil below. Finally, at 10 meters deep, the metal cone reached a dense soil layer, likely rock, that can support piles and allow for a reliable foundation. At the second point, the necessary bearing capacity was found at 6.5 meters. That's why it's important to survey multiple points on the site. Now we're nearing the end of the third borehole, currently at 9 meters. The gauge is showing near maximum resistance. You can see that it's hard for workers to turn the handle, so we can assume there's a bearing layer at about 9 meters depth, suitable for pile installation. It took about an hour and a half. We've completed the geological survey with three boreholes. Dense soil layers were found at depths of 6, 8, and 10 meters, depending on the location. Objectively, in one spot, we hit the bearing layer at 8 meters and in the neighboring point at 10. But since there's also fill material here, it's actually the same layer. We've collected soil samples and everything will now be sent to the lab. We'll prepare a report and determine what pile diameter and depth are required to ensure a stable foundation for this site. If you've just purchased land and are taking your first steps in construction, contact us. We'll handle both the geological and geodetic surveys so you'll understand the slope of your site, the depth of the bearing soil layers, and what kind of foundation you'll need. Later, when it's time to build the foundation, come to us. We'll build both the foundation and your entire structure, turnkey. BMEX Development provides the full range of services.